know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, friend? Welcome to our camping adventure. We're MK and TJ, and we're on a mission to tent camp in all 50 U.S. states. When we got married in May of 2019, we went on the most fun honeymoon in St. Lucia. After coming home, we realized that we took very few pictures and videos, so we really have nothing to look back on to remember the trip. This made us commit to capturing our family adventures from here on out. While we had plans and high hopes for more international travel over the next couple of years, 2020 quickly changed our plans. However, we are beyond excited to adventure around our home country and really get to know these 50 states. We are thankful you're here and we invite you to subscribe and join our journey. hills and stuff in the background that's where we're headed way down there <laughs> all right so if you've been keeping up with our 50 states tour our last video we toured Kansas and so we left Kansas and instead of coming home we drove south to Oklahoma which is state number four and here we are you can see nice, flat Oklahoma, everywhere you look. <laughs> But we're going down this like dirt road and we're literally being vibrated to death. Like it's bad. We're going about 12 miles an hour. It's not as bad as it was back there, I promise. <laughs> it was really bad for a while there. It seems to be a little bit smoother right now. <laughs> it's that bumpy. This is crazy. Look at the steering wheel. All of our stuff is literally like <laughs> going I'm not, nuts. We're going 10 miles an hour. We officially cannot exceed six miles an hour. Uh, Please tell me that this road is a little bit better. Um, no promises. Uh, it's a little bit better. Yeah. This road is not any better at all. This is, these are the worst roads that we've been on so far. This is state number four, and this is probably worse. This is way worse than I-40 in Tennessee. Yeah, and I mean, this is state number four, and until now, I-40 across Tennessee was the worst, but. This oh is my gosh. officially the worst road that we've driven on. And I hope it ends soon. We're just trying to get to the salt plains. We can see them. They look cool. This is insanely cool. Here we go.
headed back to camp. That was awesome. The salt Plains were awesome. You guys have to go check them out if you're ever in Oklahoma. Definitely, it's a must see. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight. Tonight. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Alright, we definitely drove like 70 miles an hour And the salt is still on the car That's nuts Ooh, There we go Like two peas in a pod Your mom says that we're two peas in a pod I think so too. Yeah. We picked up these little things of propane uh, from Walmart. I think they're like $7 a piece. And I fully, it says like max runtime an hour per bottle. Uh, this is state number four. We've cooked three or four times per state. Um, and it, it just keeps on going. So I've been thoroughly impressed with the amount of cooking time on that little canister. Okay, we're gonna flip these. Oh yeah. Getting brown town, y'all. That's looking real good as I'm melting my ND filter by holding the camera over the stove. How's it going? Uh, great, do you want the cheese? Yes, I want the cheese. I didn't know for the longest time that this thing here it's called a lantern hook. You put your lantern on that so you can see why you eat, I guess. Lantern hook. I always wondered what those are. What do you mean you didn't know that? You didn't know that either. Yeah, I did. Did you really? We put our lanterns on those when I was a kid and I went camping. So I know you can't tell it right now, um, but that reservoir is probably one of the dirtiest reservoirs we've ever seen. We both pulled up and like looked out and we were like, what is that? And we realized both at the same time that it was water and it was like brown, like Willy Wonka chocolate fountain brown. And uh, so we will not be getting in it. I don't even know if that's allowed, but if it were, we would not be getting in it. We're spoiled, those Arkansas lakes. This is not a good shot of me, I know. I want you to tell me. How much fun are you having right now doing that? Um, I'm not, not the most fun I've had in my life. <laughs> so, we made a deal. We both had a conversation and we're like, what is the worst things that you don't, you know, what is the worst thing you hate about camping? And uh, what was number one for you? Oh, it used to be rolling up my sleeping bag. It was rolling sleeping bags, and for me, it was pumping up the air mattresses. So we made a deal that she would pump up this. The, why are you stopping? Because I want the sound to distract you from the video. Oh, okay, sure. We didn't... <laughs> we made a deal that she would pump up the mattresses while I rolled the sleeping bags from now on. But my sleeping bag is a lot easier to roll up now, and so is TJ's, and... This is a lot harder than rolling up the sleeping bags. Wait, wait, wait. But I hate taking down the tent. So he's doing that now and I'm pumping these up. It's my workout. I by far got the better end of the deal. Absolutely. So just sit with me. Talking to the night and to the morning building camp mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be So, I'm like using the bathroom First of all, we both decided we'll take the compost bathroom over these bathrooms any day These bathrooms are nasty But I'm using the bathroom, Mary Catherine comes in She's like, TJ there's a frog in the toilet. I'm thinking like there's a dead frog. No, check this out. 
these suckers alive. He's just waiting, waiting for you to sit down and he's gonna get you. Good morning. We have a lot to update you on. <laughs> yes, we had a pretty terrible night. Yeah, we did. We had our first encounter with wildlife. You guys remember the frog, that's how it started out. The frog yeah. in the toilet, and then I, after we had gone to the bathroom and got everything set up in the tent, I was like, ooh, I wanna take some Milky Way shots with our tent. And so Mary Catherine was in the tent with the light, and I was outside the tent, and I was like hunched over, <laughs> and like taking pictures like i'm like oh yes this is awesome and then like i felt something like cold brush my hand and i look over and i'm like staring in the eyes of a coyote and like i could tell like we both like startled at each other and then like he kind of like backed away a little bit and i was like <gasps> mary catherine and i said did you get a cool photo <laughs> and i said there's an animal out here <laughs> and it just touched me i'm coming in the tent and so like i like came in the tent i think by then the coyote had like come to its senses like hey i'm a coyote i can kill that thing that human yeah and like it we could see it in like the shadows around our tent it was like stalking I mean, it, like, our tent. touched our tent i mean it was like like pacing back and forth yeah for a little bit and then it left and then it came back and then it came back and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what do we do? It's not good. And then I like drifted off to sleep a little bit. Mary Catherine stayed awake the whole time. And then like I woke up to like the whole tent just like shaking. <laughs> and I like woke up and I was like, what is going on? And it was like so windy. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I checked an app for wind speed and wind speeds were supposed to be 60 miles an hour. We made the decision to, to, to put our tent away and sleep in the car, Yeah. which was, very smart it was we got in the car and we like drove away from our campsite because we didn't want like a tree limb to fall and then fall through our tent um and we were driving for a place to like park and stay and no joke like this swimming pool like yeah. flew right in front of our car <laughs> all the way across the road and we were like okay decision made it was good yeah. and we ended up going back to our campsite and just across the road from our campsite was a field so there were no trees so that's where we did stay so that if a tree branch fell it didn't fall on us but when we got back um our only neighbors in that campsite were also packing up their tent and they slept in their car also it was crazy yeah. and like you could no longer see across the reservoir yeah. you could barely see the bathroom in the distance and that's yeah. because like there was this huge like haze that was moving across and like I don't know if it was dust or salt I think it or was whatever. Dust because on the Weather Channel advisory, it said like it said that the wind would be blowing dust and so things would be hazier, and it made it sound like that wouldn't be for a few hours, but it was already settling. And then and then it also had said power outages were possible because of downed trees, so we just yeah. knew we couldn't sleep in the tent. So we slept in the car. Oh my gosh! And our car <laughs> is a complete wreck and we've been like cleaning it up a little bit but you guys should see i don't know if you can see in there we like we shoved everything, everything in the, the car because we were also kind of freaked out like we needed to take the tent down because that was the safest option but we also knew that coyote was out there somewhere and we also know coyotes are usually in packs so i mean the rest of them could have been in the woods behind us like we didn't know it was going to happen we never saw it while we were packing up. But we threw everything in and we took off <laughs> and we slept like that. And now we're pulled over at a McDonald's and we are putting our car back car. together. Yeah, and there's so many gnats because the gnats were really bad at that campsite. So every time, like if we open the car to get our clothes out or something, um, the gnats just flew in. <laughs> so that's our update and uh we're driving into oklahoma city next so we'll oh. see oh. one last thing um the temperatures also dropped about 40 degrees yeah since yesterday afternoon and it's not supposed to warm up <laughs> all right oklahoma city here we come
just thought I'd point out that we made it to Oklahoma City and the salt is still on the car. <laughs> I feel like this is one of those places though, like, I don't even have anything to say. Yeah. There's nothing to say. Just experience it. So we just did our tour of the monument, the Oklahoma City Federal Building, and it was very sobering, to say the least. Yeah, it is one of those things that you have to do if you come here because you need to experience that. It's not like a happy experience, but not all things that are important are happy. We, we can't forget those things. Uh, we have to remember those things. So it's, it's extremely beautiful out here. It is. They did a very good job of making this memorial and the park ranger that was um, standing outside, he was very helpful and he was very kind. And he gave us some really great um, insight. Yeah, and at either end of the, the memorial, there's like these two big walls and one of them says 901 and the other one says 903 and they signify the beginning and the end as far as like the way the world was before the blast at 901 and then the way the world was at 903 a.m. which was after the blast and uh, more in that like before this major act of terrorism there really hadn't been any kind of terroristic acts towards our country before so it's on our on our soil, soil yeah. yeah right on our soil and so it's it's very interesting the way things have changed i know like the 
the way the government monitors our cell phones and emails and stuff like that. Like none of that happened mm -hmm. before this. The way they build federal buildings, he said, that's different. Yeah. You can actually like, there's a section of the original building still up with the rebar and being able to, to just be there and see, you know, like the actual building itself um, is crazy, but also like the chairs of all of the individual people who died. Uh, it's it's very, very sobering. This is definitely a, a must see as far as our um, American culture and heritage and history. Mm -hmm. For sure. So right now uh, we're gonna head out of Oklahoma City and we're gonna head towards Chickasaw where we will be spending the night. Um, but Hopefully without coyotes. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, we have kind of a, a treat tonight. Uh, we get to see some friends I'm that so we haven't seen in a while. Um, usually Mary Catherine and I go down to Ecuador in the summer um, and help with um, a foundation down there. Um, we get to, to work with a bunch of kids and our hosts usually are down there as well. Um, but they're from Duncan, Oklahoma, um, which isn't too far from where we're staying. So we're gonna go grab some dinner with them tonight. Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're passing through more Oklahoma right now on our way to our next campsite just outside of Oklahoma City. And we just learned that Toby Keith is from here. What else do we know about this place, TJ? More Oklahoma is the tornado capital of the world. Um, so when you think tornadoes, tornado alley, more Oklahoma per capita gets more tornadoes than any other city in the country. <laughs> but we got clear skies today. We do have clear skies and this looks like a really nice place. So we just stopped to get Burger King. Actually we stopped for gas and there was a Burger King at the gas station and TJ had just said Burger King sounds really good. Before we found the Burger King. Right and we normally on the road make our food. We make like burgers or sandwiches or whatever to save money um, but we had some really good coupons <laughs> we had some really good coupons and we just realized because we had some traffic it's gonna be a little while till we get to our next campsite we're really hungry right now so Burger King it is thank you Love's Travel Station for always having a restaurant attached to your gas station they're not gonna watch this video. <laughs> So this place on the side of the road said Bison Viewing Point and when we drove by the first time there was nothing out here and I really thought like I wonder if you ever actually see bison there if it's just called that and the second time we drove by I said we have to stop because they're out here. I've also never seen a bison outside of a zoo so this is really cool. We just got to our campground and the best part might be we're right next to the bathroom. Alrighty, here we go. These campground showers and bathrooms are so nice, especially compared to last night, but really for any campground. We have not showered since Friday night and it is Monday and this is very gross and maybe TMI, but I'm still wearing the same underwear I was after my shower Friday night, which is really gross. I have changed clothes, I have changed socks, but we had to do that in the car or like pull over in a parking lot. So there hasn't really been a place to change undies yet, but today's the day and I'm gonna have clean hair. I give those bathrooms a first class rating. Warm water, clean bathroom, electric hookups. It's nice and warm in there, it's not cold. It's not too hot either. I think it 
probably is the best bathroom that I've ever experienced while camping. How was your experience? It was by far the best camp bathroom ever. And I feel like a new person. I do. It's amazing I, what a shower and brush teeth can yeah, make you feel like. and fresh clothes. Yes. I had plans to wash my hair because it was so nice. And I was like, this is gonna be awesome. And the water was warm, but it was like a really thin stream of water. So you didn't wash your hair? So I didn't wash my hair, but that's what dry shampoo is for. Gross. I couldn't, I couldn't do that. It's great. My hair. It was perfect for just like yes. washing your body, but I have too much hair for that. But that's okay. Great bathrooms. So we realized when we got here, we haven't really shown you guys our tent. It hasn't really been in any of the vlogs. So we decided to give you guys a tent tour. Let's go. Welcome to the tent. <laughs> we have two air mattresses. This is mine. This is TJ's and my sleeping bag and TJ's sleeping bag. Um, is yours zero degree? Yes. Mine's 20 which makes it a little more comfortable in most of the places we can. Yes, and which makes it almost extremely hard for me to fall asleep in most of the places we camp because it's so hot. <laughs> and he also has a fleece liner, but he never uses it. Right there. <laughs> um, this is TJ's pillow. I have no idea how he sleeps on this because I'm kind of a diva about my pillows and I have two. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm like, obviously tent camping, across the country and not being a diva about a bunch of other stuff <laughs> <laughs> so we also have this handy dandy little mesh pocket that came attached to the tent we did not put that there and yep. it is great and then there's also a pocket that hangs from the ceiling but we don't have it up there right now it usually hangs from these four little things yeah and it's clear so you can put a light and it faces down like a chandelier yeah like a tent chandelier yeah and then we stick our sleeping bag um bags what do you call this a sleeping bag bag yeah down in between the mattresses because um especially most of our camping right now has been done in higher humidity places the tent gets wet sometimes like with dew in the morning and that kind of deal which makes anything touching the edge wet so if it has to be dry we have to stick it between the mattresses yep mm -hmm. and that's our tent <laughs> We made it to Caitlin and Jamie's house. We're here. Hey! <laughs> that was like the best night's sleep that we've ever gotten while camping so far. The temperature is cooler and there wasn't a lot of like wild animals running around or loud noises or anything like that. We're gonna tear down now and head back home. Hopefully that was in focus. You can put the seat down if you want. Or you can wreck it. Woo yeah! Biking across America, crossing over into Oklahoma. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all didn't know I could run a camera and a spatula at the same time. Is it okay to talk that loud? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Show them around. There's uh, not a lot of room in oh, here. Oh, hold on, we need to redo this. <laughs> 